What's up, y'all, man? It's King Carlos here, bro. Back with another video. I want to speak on some shit, dude. Um, some shit is it's. I I I didn't I didn't even know about it till like now, bro. But like going looking at it and stuff like that, um, it's not too far fetched. Let me turn this off so I can like really talk to y'all, focus. Uh, that's this um, the polite case, polite uh being arrested for messing with his fourteen year old stepdaughter. Um, people saying it's crazy. It's another me too. <clears throat> This is why I don't look at this with like a Me Too movement. Let me explain something. I've always known this stuff. Anytime you deal with these these people who run these cults or these groups where they have followers throughout history, um, usually with the women, it's not as prevalent. I mean, I'm serious. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's some there, but it's not. But usually it's with men with men to do this. When they start these groups, they feel as though all the women who come under them are obligated to give them sex. They do. They feel like they're the leaders and as the leader, as the, the voice, as the one, right? Because they always, it's always like, if it's if it's some deity that they're worshiping, of course, it's either possessing the main, the person who lose, lose the group or only he can communicate with it, right? So it's like, since I'm the, I'm the, uh, the vessel, or I'm the one, I should be, I should be, uh, you know what I'm saying? I should, I, they, they, they always basically put it to us since they're the one, they should be given sex. Like everybody, they should have an offering and for the women's offering, they want their bodies, right? For the men offering, it's always like work or give your money, like give us your finance, give, like give me 30% of your finances. So dudes be literally going to work and giving some of these cult members and they, these groups that they're part of like 30% of their checks and shit. And for the women, they usually demand, um, sex they usually like say oh well, well you owe me your body since i've i've opened your mind to knowledge you should open your legs to me like it's just what it is and a lot of these women have malleable minds and what i mean malleable guys malleable is like this piece of paper I, that was really good. This, this paper has a lot of writing on it but malleable is like paper and what i mean by you can make it anything like you can make a piece of paper a swan an airplane right you can make a piece of paper anything it's just like just like play-doh you can make play-doh and clay whatever you want that's not a good thing for the human mind. You want your mind to be set and you want to have your own thoughts, your own beliefs. There's nothing wrong with you being able to change and being vulnerable, right? So you can learn and still grow, but you want to still be set in stone. There's certain things about you just have to be set in stone. You can't be out here just wondering and just have your mind or anybody or anything could just take it and make it what they want and make you think what they want, make you do what they want, bro. And a lot of these people that join these groups and shit, like Polite's group, Polite is one of them have malleable minds they just they hear them talking it sounds good they they don't they don't have thinking for themselves they don't they don't use their own experiences they don't use their own knowledge they don't think of themselves as someone whose experiences or knowledge is worth anything right so they just throw everything they know out the window and listen to this person who they hear talking it sounds good men or women and they usually if the person asks for something or asks for something in return they give it to them because they feel like this person is enlightening them and opening their mind to shit it's dumb but hey man so do I think it's crazy that polite would be with a woman and if she had a stepdaughter, he demand, oh, I'm not only do I sleep with you, but your, when your daughter comes of age, I should, man, yeah, no. So it probably was a situation like that. The little girl got tired, went to school and said something or some shit like that. Like motherfuckers be tripping. Like some, yes, like I said, with the, the me too shit is usually going to be in, with dudes in position of power. And I'm not, but the, in the, but the position, it's going to be dudes in position of power and women trying to gain power through that. But in position that Polite is in, he's, it's, he's not, he don't have any real, real power to distribute. Well, in actuality, but in these women's minds and like, you know what I'm saying? Or just, I guess, attention. He has power to distribute attention, like individual attention and shit like that. And like I said, in these groups and stuff, these people feel like the, the one or the, the Messiah, whoever the, the mouthpiece, just like, um, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of like the Muslims with what's the name, who's ever talking is special and endowed. They're not a regular human. They should get extra respect. No one should be able to talk about them. They should be able to have sex with anybody they want. Like it's just what it is. Look at Elijah Muhammad. You had a lot of, um, like, like Malcolm X wasn't the only person that knew about Elijah Muhammad with all those different women. A lot of Muslims knew, but like he said, well, since I'm the chosen one, I can do what I want. Y'all can't, but I can because I'm so it's the same thing. Like I, it does, it doesn't sound crazy that polite would do that. Look at Pastor Dow. I don't think that Dow was too crazy, too out of that uh, sphere. I don't. All these occult like members, all these occult group leader type nigga, dudes, niggas always 
It don't matter. Niggas is men, but they Mexican, white, black, they niggas. But um, they always do that. They always demand an offering from the man. It's usually financial compensation. Um, and if they and if their sexual orientation is that way, then it'll be sexual orientation from the man. But most of the time, they they like they they start these groups to get friends, to get women, right? And they a lot of these they don't have real knowledge. What it is they go out and look for malleable people's minds who they can make believe they have some type of grand knowledge because no one else is saying it because it's bullshit, not right. But they're like, they can make a scene to this person. Oh, no one is saying this because they're not, they don't know. They're not enlightened enough to know. Only I know. And usually when they start, the, like I say, they, when they start these groups and have these meetings, it's like, okay, I want financial offering from the men and from the women, a physical offering. Since I've given, opened your mind to knowledge, open your legs to me so I can give you like a special, like a, a special enlightened, you know what I'm saying? Enlightened child and all type of crazy shit they do, man. And they do this to dudes wise. You got dudes that come to these groups with wives and the dude, the man, the man somehow convince them, you should offer me your wife because I've got, given you knowledge. And the dudes do it. Knowing that this, uh, the leader is sleeping with his wife, she get pregnant, this dude raised, man, like I'm telling you, man. And don't think this is a white, this isn't a, a white thing. This isn't a black thing. But all these groups, a lot of these Hebrew Israelite camps do it. A lot of these Hebrew Israelite camps do it. A lot of these Muslim camps do it. All, all of them, bro. These Christian camps, um, these red, black, and green brothers, like polite is. All, all of them do it, bro. There's good and bad and everything. But y'all, let me know what y'all think.